Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth Surratt from Your Highest Light, Master Life Coach and Certified Spiritual Life Coach. Here every Tuesday at 3.33 is my new live time to talk to you guys about attracting more beautiful things into your life. And I'm live on Facebook and Instagram and this will be posted later also on YouTube. So if you're watching, um, please go ahead and drop me an emoji, let me know where you're from, send me some love. And if you're watching it on the replay, say hashtag replay. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like it. So like I said, I talk to you guys every week about, we talk about attracting more beautiful things into our lives. Um, last week we talked about, oh yes, my Archangel Joe Fael, um doTERRA blend, which is beautiful. And um, it's about... So Archangel Jophiel helps to beautify your thoughts and helps to beautify your surroundings. And um, so I was selling that and I still am selling it actually. I was selling it over the holiday and it comes now with a beautiful angel ornament so you can pick what ornament you want. Um, and I use only doTERRA scents. So if, that, you, you, if you look at my profile, you will see that there's a link to um, purchase that. But that's what we talked about last week. We talked about Thanksgiving as well, and um, I posted something from the year before that I posted about eating and the holidays and being in control of your um, being in control of your food, feeling good about yourself throughout the holidays, not feeling like you overdid it or feeling making yourself sick, but enjoy, being able to enjoy every aspect of the holidays. So that's so important. So the, today we are talking about falling in love with life. Don't you just love our topics? Don't we have the best topics? So today we're talking about falling in love with life. Oh, I have to show you guys my beautiful angel that I have over here as well. I love the angels this time of year. So the angels, and um, when I first started my blog, it was called God Sightings. So I talked about um, how life really changes when you start looking for God Sightings, I call them throughout the day. We're going to talk about them a little bit today too. So falling in love with life, and you might be saying, Elizabeth, I don't want to fall in love with life. I want to fall in love with my soulmate. I want to meet the person that I'm supposed to meet and I want to get married. Or maybe you are married and you want to, um, you want a better relationship with your husband or your wife. That's okay. So I'm going to tell you why falling in love with life will actually help you to create those other things. So my husband and I, you know, I have, we have an awesome relationship. We post, you know, pictures of us on Instagram and in social media. We're always happy and having a great time, but it wasn't always like that. So I um, went through a time where I was experiencing a lot of depression and it really made me question my marriage. It was a really scary time. It was a scary time for me and my husband. And what happened was when, when you start getting depressed, you start looking for things to blame. And so the, who's the person to blame? The person closest to you. So I looked for my marriage to blame. And what I found was actually when I got myself out of it, that it actually wasn't my husband's fault. It wasn't my marriage's fault. And when I fell in love with myself and my life, then I was, I fell in love even more with my husband. And I can tell you that even today, I mean, every day I love him even more. Today I am the happiest I have ever been in my entire life. And I'm the happiest I've ever been in my marriage. So Falling in love with your life can help you meet that person that you're meant to meet and it can help you ha have a better relationship with whoever you're in, with whatever relationship you're in. Because I guarantee if you're not happy now, that relationship is not going to make you happy. Okay, so how do we fall in love with life, you might ask? Well, the first, there's, I, there's really only one step that you have to remember and that is re finding the magic in every day. So your job every day is to wake up in the morning and to look for the magical moments. You could call them God sightings, you could call them fairy sightings, you could call them whatever you want. I don't care, call them Philip. <laughs> I don't care what you call them, but you look, it's the magic that, you, that, that happens throughout the day. So it could be like the way like a light hits a tree, it could be like a flower that you see, it could be anything that happens throughout the day that feels magical. And so, you know, there with quantum physics now these days, there is actually evidence that there are little particles that they don't exist until we're aware of them. So it's, how amazing is that? So this means that when we are, so we always talk about what we focus on expands. So when we're aware of the magic, if we're tuned in to that channel in our minds, when we wake up in the morning, we will be able to find the magic throughout the day. So you have to tune in to the channel. You have to turn it on. And the more you pay attention to it, the more you will find it. So think of it that way. So the more you're aware of it, the more it will expand. And that is your job throughout the day is just to find the magical moments throughout the day. That's why I love Instagram stories and 
Facebook stories because they're like a little journal you can keep. Like yesterday I was doing yoga and I saw my dog. I was doing downward dog and I saw my dog and she looked so cute. I took a picture. You know, those little moments, stop and appreciate them. Take a picture. I also, we had a snowstorm here and I was looking out my window and it was so beautiful. The, um, I saw this green house across the street from us that was so beautiful and I um, took a picture of that. So this time of year, you see there's so much magic. So with the Christmas lights, with there's I always say there's angels all around, um, so you can find the magic. So we wake up in the morning and we look for the magical moment. So I would love for you to put it on your Instagram feed or your Instagram stories and tag me, Elizabeth uh, underscore your highest light, or on Facebook, Elizabeth Cermak, you can tag me and tell me this is a magical moment. This is a God sighting I had today. Okay, so we wake up, we look for the magical moments, the God sighting, so whatever it is that you want to call it, the angels. Um, and that is the first step to falling in love with life. That is the first step to falling in love with life. The second step that I want to talk about is um, creating sacred moments. So everything can be sacred. And I just posted something about this on social media. Like I, um, my husband and I went for a ride in the snow and I took a picture of the church where we got married. It's so beautiful. So that was just a sacred moment. So everything can be sacred if you make it that way. And how do we make things sacred? We put our whole selves into them. We put our whole selves into the moment. And that is how we make something sacred. So anything can be sacred. So your job is really to create more sacred moments throughout the day. It could be like a yoga class. I went to a, we called it snow globe yoga class today because it looked like a snow globe outside of the, when you looked outside the window. So it could be a yoga class. It could be like a meditation practice you could do. It should be like anytime you eat, that should make that a sacred practice. You're just totally aware and, and in the moment with it. Okay. So I just want to say hi to some people. Hi, Erica. Hi, Anne. So good to see you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Bob. Good to see you too. Okay. So, um, we're talking about how to fall in love with life. So the first, <laughs> don't you love our topics? <laughs> how to fall in love with life. So the first step is to find the magical moments throughout the day. So this time of year is perfect to do that. I love to find the magic this time of year with the hol with the holidays and the Christmas decorations and Christmas lights. Um, there's angels all around us. So we look for the magic throughout the day. The second step is create more sacred moments throughout the day. So anything, you can make anything sacred. Um, so, but it starts with creating more moments. So like it might be a meditation practice. It might be a yoga practice. It might be a meal that you make that you really totally pay attention to. So you make something sacred by being there, by totally paying attention to it. Um, Marianne Williamson just talked about like when people ask, do you observe the holidays? It means you observe the sacredness in it, in the day. If you don't, that's okay. If you're not going to find it, it's not going to be there. So we're kind of paused on Instagram, so, but I'm going to keep going. So, okay. So create sacred moments. And the, the, the third step is to be creative. So we are on this planet right now and we are very evolved. And I just posted about this. You know, we are so lucky. We have, um, there's a reason why life coaches exist right now and they didn't exist in the past. I mean, they existed in the nineties, I think is when they started, <coughs> but <coughs> excuse me, there's a reason why they're so popular now and they're not as obscure anymore. And it's because Life is so good that we are looking for a way to tap into our greatness even more. And so it's so awesome. We live, we're living in such an awesome, awesome time. So <clears throat> we as human beings want to be creative. And I used to think, I remember my sister is an artist, right? And so she, I always compared myself to her because she was so good at art, at painting or creating things like she was so good at it. I could not decorate a Christmas cookie to save my life. It looks horrible. So I'm just not artistic in that way. And I remember one time telling my friend and being like, I am just, you know, I'm just, I don't have that. I wish I did. I wish I had artistic ability. And my friend was like, Elizabeth, you're so creative. You look the way that you dress or the way that you do your hair and the way that you um, decorate, like that's, that's creative. And I was like, and I had never seen myself that way. So the, my point is that we are all creative in our own way. It might not be the way that you think you should be creative, but once you realize that we all, human beings, we're dying to create. So be creative. Create your life. Create your day. Design what it, what, what it is that you want out of your life. Okay, so let's review. So the first step is to create magical moments and tag me on Instagram and Facebook if you find a magical moment or God sighting or angel, whatever it is throughout the day, and make that your purpose. Your purpose is to find the magic in the day. Your purpose is not to be bothered by other things that don't ultimately matter. So when you have a bigger purpose, such as creating magic or 
you know, whatever you get connected to your higher purpose in life, all that little stuff doesn't matter anymore. The haters, whatever, you know, they go away because we don't, we put less attention on them and we put more attention on what really matters. And so we look for the magical moments throughout the day and make that your purpose when you wake up in the morning. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, life. I am so happy to be alive. I can feel it and I am looking for the magic. And the magic only happens in the moment. So Marianne Williamson talks about how the horizontal aligns with the vertical. The horizontal aligns with the vertical only in the present moment. Okay, so think about that. That means that the miracle, that means that the magic can only happen right now. It can't happen in the past. It can't happen in the future. It only happens now. So we create magical moments throughout our day. We create more sacred moments by being totally present for whatever it is. And you could create an altar, create something sacred in your house, um, maybe for a meditation practice or a yoga practice or something like that. So we create sacred moments throughout our day. And then the third one is we are creative. We become creative and we, we recognize ourselves as creative beings, okay? So hi, Eric. Hi, Philippe. It's so good to see you guys. Um, we've had a beautiful snowstorm here and I've been, I'm gonna post more pictures later because I felt it was just so magical. It really was. And this time of year with the Christmas decorations, the Christmas lights, it's so nice. So I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Oh, I was gonna pull an angel card. Let's see, I think I have them here. We'll do, we have some right here. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We'll pull an Archangel card before we go. Okay. I'm, I'm have this kind of in my window right now. I keep looking out my window because it looks so pretty. Okay. So this will be for the week. Today is Tuesday, and I'm gonna be here every Tuesday at 3.33, and if I'm not, I usually announce that I won't be, won't be here. So if you guys have any questions or any topics that you'd like me to cover, I will. I talk about, you know, creating a magical life. I talk about attracting more beautiful things into our lives. So that's that's our overall topic. So if you guys want me to talk about anything, let me know. Okay, so we have the Queen of Ariel, which says mature, practical, generous, happy. She's a beautiful, beautiful card. Ariel. Ariel is the archangel of, she's an environmentalist. So she's, um, she's all about the animals and she's all about um, also manifesting material things. So this says, nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, which is great because we talk about a beautiful life, um, practical and wise advice. So this really is talking about the, whoever you know is watching, that you have the ability to make anything more beautiful. So you have the ability to create, you have the ability to be an artist, whatever, however it is that you express that. Okay, Prudence is trying to sleep. Yes, she does. I know, that's what, um, she's so good at that. She's been so snuggly lately. <laughs> I just want to squeeze her every day. Okay, I love you guys. I will see you guys next week, Tuesday, 3.33. Hugs. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>